am so sad no one wants to play football because M violates several human rights. <laughs> How else M do football stadium? So stupid. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, when do I see my family again? Asks India. Oh, boo hoo. What am I do to deserve this? M just want to play football. Oh, Qatar. I wonder why. How could they be so misunderstood? This is now reminding me that Saudi Arabia has won the bid to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Oh, are they going to do it in their Lion City as well? Is it normal for the World Cup host country to always have some sort of controversy? I remember when there was stuff about Brazil, too. As an American, I have no idea what's going on, but I've been able to keep up to date through the memes. So insane that they have spent over $220 billion US dollars for this whole thing. Way more than all the previous countries combined. I'm sure I'm going to be following this very closely in the next coming weeks. Berkeley is so hot outside, says Finland. Thank you for putting the freedom degrees there. Must escape as they go bouncing to this cabin. Ah, many better. Inside their sauna, which is 82 degrees Celsius or 180 Fahrenheit. Do they really make them that hot in Finland? Apparently, yes, they can go as high as 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Very geographically accurate here, too. You've kept this ball in the nude. I guess they like to do that in the saunas. <laughs> I've actually been learning a lot recently about the health benefits to a sauna. I don't think I've been in one of these in like 10 or 20 years. Of course, the Finns love their saunas because they have very harsh winters. Negative 40 degrees Celsius is basically negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's rough. Although this comic is specifically saying Finns go into the sauna even during the summer. This is just their natural habitat, I guess. Can't believe America would declare war over a yo mama joke. Eh, we got trees. They will last again. Hey, look! America helicopter. That must be their so-called secret weapon. Probably just some useless napalm. True, that'll never work well. Oh, look at that. It's hovering right above us. Look, just drop secret weapon, okay? Uh, that doesn't look like regular napalm dump. Hello. Psh, run for your life. This ball quite literally said, welcome to Brazil. You don't come to Brazil. Brazil, come to you. What a perfect secret weapon we now have to defeat trees. This country is great at getting rid of those. This comic is obviously referring to the deforestation that is happening in the Amazon, which apparently has reached a record high as of August 2022. The orange represents all of the lost forests that has been seen in the last 20 years. Although some of these regions have been gained back due to sustainable forestry. I noticed that it is also happening in places like Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, but maybe a lot more in Brazil. A Vietnam sequel would certainly be interesting, but let's not. Salute, Monsieur. Oh, my French is so bad. Salute, I can't even do it. Something, something, French noises. No, you're in Canada. Speak English. Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> We're in Canada. Speak English. Bienvenue. I don't speak frog. Speak English. <laughs> speak English. Yeah, it seems no matter who Canada's talking to or wherever they are, they're always trying to advocate for English only. Whether it's a new person arriving to Canada or, of course, against their own territory, Quebec, and I guess even the Canadians pull an America when in France. When you're in another country, you gotta demand the other person speaks English. And even when they get to Mars, I'm sure this is still gonna be the case. I love how all these balls in the example speak French. Watch, like, the alien know just a little bit of French, too, because they've been spying on us, clearly. This refers back to a French language poem written by a Canadian back in 1968. Can't wait for the day where we can be like, speak Martian. Just stop is enough now. Never responds Russia. Oh boy, as the USA looks off in the distance. I know I need your oil, but truce, please, says Saudi Arabia to Iran. Oh, sweet Jesus. Wicked as if, as both the Koreas clash as well. Wow, what are you doing. Buddy, I prepared for this for decades. I've run all the simulations and I was afraid it was never gonna happen. There's just one more thing that would make it all perfect. All these conflicts happening around the world and the USA just needs one more thing to happen to complete their little royal flesh they got going on. Just like all the simulations, the New York Times literally has an article called A New Axis. China, Russia, Iran, and of course North Korea as well. I've been using this term for a while. Of course, when George W. Bush said it, he said the axis of evil, and he was only including Iraq, Iran, and North Korea. Now we're looking at this new axis, which is significantly more scary. Although I would not doubt there are certain forces in the USA that are kind of excited about this. I really don't like this simulation. For Veterans Day, we decided to give you tickets to Alaskan fall moose hunting. Keep your sharpshooting skills in shape for when the Canucks invade. Wow. Thanks. I like how Montana's sitting on Idaho, just like they do in real life. I love your military gear, Dad. Does a happy Alaska. 63.8149. Dad, where's your weapon? 
Insurgent, neutralized. God bless the American Air Force. How are we supposed to eat this? I do kind of want to know for science, what happens if you airstrike a moose? <laughs> I'm guessing it would just explode into nothingness. I always forget just how massive moose are. Six feet tall and can weigh like 1,500 pounds. Maybe you would actually have to airstrike these guys just to take them down. What a great way to spend Veterans Day. I love your Frankenstein monster costume, says the EU to France. Oh, because France, Frankenstein, I get it. And I love your vampire one. How about mine? But Ukraine, high Mars are not really makings for Halloween. But Russia scared of them, and I was out of ideas. Wait, you got a point. You pass, says France. Meanwhile, America getting mad at the cultural appropriation. It's only us that's allowed to scare Russia. I mean, we've been doing it in the past for a while. It's both the USA and Russia kind of have scared each other for the last couple decades. Always fun to show up to a Halloween party with a rocket launcher. Plus, it's not like Ukraine had to go to a Halloween store to get this costume. They already had it in their closet. So extra points for referring to Frankenstein's monster, not Frankenstein. I make that mistake all the time. Victor Frankenstein was the scientist that created the monster. I do feel like Ukraine's costume is probably the scariest out of them all though. This here town ain't big enough for the two of us. Maybe it would be big enough if you went on a fucking diet. Help! As Poland is getting crushed. <laughs> I don't know why this one is funny. And honestly, I was just excited to do the Texas accent. Too bad my Irish one isn't that good. Oh, I love the little tear that the U.S. has. Yeah, our whole obesity problem isn't getting any better. Well, that's like 15 years. It went up 10% in adults and 5 in the youth. And obesity rates by state don't look any better by 2030. They're predicting over 60% of the people in these states in the Deep South will be overweight. Now that I think about it, having a shootout in like an old Western style town wouldn't go that well for us. How could the other person miss? This town isn't even big enough for the one of us. Ooh, the gravesite for the Aztec Empire. <laughs> Who is the being that brought me from my eternal sleep, says the Aztec Empire. Hola, today is Dia de los Muertos. I brought cake for usted. I don't know what this is, but I like it. I hope you like it. Mi mama es España who make it. Did you say España? See. Si. Any problems? You even dropped the cake in suelo. Flash forward to two seconds later. Yeah, Mexico's buried right next to the Aztec Empire now. Never bring up Espana in front of them. Kind of historical rivals there. Although the Spaniards had quite a few indigenous allies as well. A lot of people next to the Aztec Empire didn't like the Aztec Empire. This figure shows that as many as 200,000 of these people fought with the Spaniards on their side. Possibly even more from others. It also means that both sides took heavy casualties except for the Spaniards. I feel like this has become more and more more of a popular thing to discuss in the meme sphere. Yeah, Spain better hope the Aztecs don't come back somehow. At Earth Inc., we pride ourselves on being productive and efficient. Hey Germany, would you explain to our visitor our core mission here? Germany's like, work. And what is that for? <coughs> make money. And what do we do with the money? Have better li- Right! To make more money. Great work, Europe. How is- We are run out of ink. Print more ink. Silly Europe. Anyways, China, what are you doing? Huh? There's no smoking allowed in here. USA, wait a second. I swear, sooner or later this place is just gonna be filled with smoke. Meanwhile, these countries just underwater. Such be life. And that concludes our- Oh! Would you look at that? We've been acquired by Hell Inc. Germany's already taken down the sign. Is this water or smoke that's filling up the room? Yeah, the earthlings aren't gonna stick around anymore. Wait, are they escaping with Japan, Thailand, uh, is that, oh, Vietnam? Yeah, I think they're getting elevated too, possibly, I don't know. This was the USA showing this alien how we get things done here on Earth, and I guess the alien wasn't that impressed. Maybe we're doing something wrong. Is this some sort of Dutch printer? We have country balls, now get ready for country printing machines? They're printing the dollar while this blue one is printing a euro. Yeah, I guess this is trying to say we aren't doing things very efficiently. No wonder the aliens won't talk to us. Ah, the seasons in Australia in a nutshell. Ooh, we have autumn with the leaves falling. Winter! Brr, it's so bloody cold. At least it's more warmer up there for ya. This said by the Victoria State and ACT is just in the ice cube. Queensland is at the top, so they probably don't face quite as bad of a situation. Then there's spring, aka swooping season. Meanwhile, summer, where everything is on fire. And New Zealand uses Australia to cook marshmallows. Seems like temperatures vary greatly in this country slash continent. That swooping season is a reference to birds that I guess possibly attack you? Here's how to avoid an attack. This is literally an article. I didn't know that this was a threat. I should have known. I know all the wildlife in this place loves to take people out. Oh man, and these birds have completely taken over the continent. They better be careful. They allied to the emus. This place is done. These things have some pretty big beaks. I don't know if you just want to punch it. It's literally a compilation of these birds attacking things. I guess they attack all animals. Okay. 
the, someone needs to stop these things. Really? Snakes too? I knew that there were a lot of things you had to worry about in this country, but even birds as well. This guy's just trying to parachute! Another reason to be terrified of this place? And big thanks to my patrons. A fat Norwal. Presented by Robert My wife e. hates this Sebi, part. If you hear this, Kilgore I love you, Drew's Daddy. Argentinian Twenty grandpa. Dollars is Yana, Yana, wild bring fan. back Chris, Poland Ball. Check your ball. Danny the Evan, Gators. Good old Ryan. Loves I stole lover. Lover. Drew's pet dog. Jack Fresh. Fresh. Animation. The Polish. Why am I doing this? The Mexicans. And Zany Boy. 